Hi guys, uh, this is Joe from Borderwinds Homestead. Just want to introduce you to urban mushing. This is something I do to get around since I don't own a car. Uh, I have two dogs. One, the one on the right is Tori. He is a Border Collie mix. He's a year and a half old and this is kind of his thing. I just got a new harness today so I went out and tried it out on him this evening and did some video and figured I'd share it with you. The dog on the right, or on the left, the with the fluffy tail, that is Kate. She She's just kind of long for the run since she can't keep up with Tori after a little bit. Because she's a good 20, 25 pounds lighter than she, he is. But um, they enjoy coming out with me and doing this. And because I have a bad back, this is one of the ways Tori actually helps me as a service dog he because because the pain in my back that I have when I'm pressing down on my bike pedals it limits how far I can go with Tori I can go about three times as far as I could without him so he's kind of he's kind of my lifesaver when it comes to getting out and about in town <laughs> right now um, there's several commands that we use to in urban mushing it in like G G E E means go to the right we'll be doing that up here at the corner haw H A W means go to the left and it's like just like with driving a horse it's very very similar but with, it's getting sled dogs, so we'll be Jean here. And sorry that it's all bumpy because I just have a normal camera and it's trying to take video of this and use both of my hands to control the brakes on the bike. Um, he's kind of spooking out a little bit because there's some kids playing. And they weren't there last time, according to him. And then got a neighbor right here that has actually a pretty good Halloween display, but they weren't as bothersome as the kids for some reason tonight but they Tori enjoys it Kate enjoys it and they um, act like little brats during the day when we don't get a chance to go out and at least run around if we're doing errands or not and yes sometimes this happens because <laughs> he, he's a boy dog and so whenever things smell good then he's got to let all the other dogs know who he, that he's been around he just randomly stops on me and I can't yell at him for it too much because he's kind of a sensitive soul um, but here we're going up a hill this is pretty much around my neighborhood a little bit but here to tell him straight I tell I'm by tells him we don't want to turn because as you can see he was kind of darting off to the right and then you have to apologize for all of this because this was all downhill and I needed both hands for this because he would keep he would run as fast as he could and then I'd end up running over Kate because she's kind of a little bit slower <laughs> as you can see she's she's struggling a little bit but with the urban mushing um, it's a great source of exercise and it also um, physical and mental exercise I should say and if you have a dog that does enjoy pulling you know not necessarily oh how do I want to say to me harnesses were designed for dogs specifically dogs to work with to pull when I see people with dogs in harnesses that pull they're in harnesses because they're pulling and people don't want to teach them to heal but whoops we almost missed that corner <laughs> um, but if you have a dog that does pull You'll, you can get special harnesses for them, racing harnesses, uh, there's even cart harnesses for dogs that you, um, to pull carts. It's going to be the next thing that we do because I actually plan to use these guys, especially since Kate can't keep up with Tori with running um, as little cart dogs so they can pull my groceries around because I do walk to the store, which is, well, mile mile and a quarter round trip and with my bad back I can't carry anything if I'm going to be walking that distance and these guys they I can't they let me know and they're little brats like little children 
when I leave the house and I don't take them. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but, um, so I plan on doing that. So it, and there's also competitions for cart dogs and then there's races for urban mushing. They call what I'm do, doing specifically bike joring um, because the dogs are pulling a bike. There's ski joring where dogs are pulling a person on skis. There's canacross, which is a person cross, running cross country with dogs in a harness and um, tugs, tethers like this. There, there's actually quite a few urban mushing type dog sports and it, it's it's pretty good and pretty fun actually to be honest with you because uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. The training part when you don't have somebody real handy to as a mentor it does take some time. Uh, so there are some Facebook groups that are out there but I don't find them quite as helpful as I would hope I hoped for. Uh, so this has been pretty much trial and error and I've been kind of basing everything on because I used to uh, ride and train horses. So I have I train these guys like I would train a horse to drive. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So it's just a uh, except with some modifications. So that's the mentality I come into it with this is um, I have a working dog. I need to give him a job for him to be happy. And as you can see, we're, we've, we've gone a full mile and a quarter and he's, he's pulling us still and we're going up a hill and poor little Kate, she's exhausted. So you can't say he doesn't enjoy this much, you know, this doing this at all. But, um, I'll probably go do another video later on about it and I will um, have a little bit more, a little bit, um, oh fudge, here I go, stumble, stumble. Uh, fudge, sorry about that. Um, a little bit more prepared, how's that? Because this is just kind of an impromptu, I'm talking, talking. I figured I'd take Tori out again, see if I can get him running, running, um, to show you kind of what he can do. <laughs> Might have to do it in the morning and see how it goes. But um, he, he just G'd in the corner. And then, you know, just another command I teach him is to kind of do a U-turn. I'll be doing it here. And it's basically haw or G, whichever direction you want, come. Haw come means we're coming this way. See? He did a good job. And he he's, he's funny because he always looks back at me. Did I do it right, Mom? But he's a good boy. I don't know what I would do without him. And he's only a year and a half old. So I got plenty of years. And I got to take care of him good so he remains a, a good, strong athlete for as long as possible. But I do want to get another dog that matches him better. And that way I have a really nice strong team because I would love to actually be able to compete with him because he, he loves it. <laughs> he sees some kids off in the distance and he's going to on bikes and he wants to run with them. But that's it. And I G into my house and that's it for the evening. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later and don't forget. Um, the eye in the icon and our Kickstarter.